Hey guys, it's RJ the Awesome here, bringing us a very big video. Um, as you guys may have noticed, I haven't been posting very many videos. Um, I really just didn't like the video editing software. Uh, it was taking me way too long to edit my videos, and sometimes it really wasn't worth it. Like, um, I was really, really, really wanting to uh, post my top 10 uh, video, the first one that I was going to, I was going to do it when I first hit 10 subscribers, you know, kind of like top 10, you know, 10 subscribers, but, um, no, I decided to postpone that, it is done, um, and I will probably post it as kind of a New Year's thing, but, um, anyways, uh, I have a new software that I'm wanting to try out, and if it doesn't work, I don't care because I really enjoy uh, recording videos, posting them on the YouTube. You guys enjoy them most of the time. I got my very first dislike like about a month ago, which is kind of bad. I got a dislike, but that was on my once the battle tag video and like, eh, who cares? Like, oh well. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, right. Uh, I was, I was going to make a comeback video with my um with the pdl review but i don't need to do that anymore because we have a new analyst i would really happy to announce our new member to the pdl family tyler keaton who like i said is going to be well the the analyst for the league he will be doing reviews he will be doing uh predictions and he will even be doing power rankings. So um, I can't wait to see how that works. Uh, anyways, on to another big announcement. The New York Metas and the PDL are currently 3-3, three and three, number 2 in our division. Uh, we are currently a little bit behind Jay Specs, who still has only had one loss. So he's like 5-1. He's super far ahead of us, but we can still catch up. But uh, we're number two in our division, which is great. Um, we've lost two. Then we won two. Then we lost one. Then we won one. Hopefully, I can break that streak and go for a big win here as we take on uh, the Kansas City Kingdras uh, and Kingdra plays games. That's going to be really interesting. Um, another thing I would like to announce is the coach to the Violet City Moltres. Uh, Cajona Gone. I hope I said that right. I'm sorry uh, if I did. But he is taking over the New England Patrats, who uh, has dropped as well. We have, we're have we looking into someone for the uh, vacant vacancies still. Uh, like, there's someone that uh, he might, he just had to focus on finals. Now that they're over, he's going to be checking his schedule and getting back to me as soon as possible. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so there's that number two, number two in our division and, uh, other big news. Our Mints is number one in the league leaders. Salamence has destroyed so far. Um, there was the kills he got in the new England Patrats. He's gotten kills over the other weeks. He swept through Felix's team last week. I set up a dragon dance and there was really nothing he could do. Um, so Salamence is really, really useful uh, for me right now. Uh, anyways, back on to another announcement. I know I'm just probably going to name this video Announcements Galore. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Announcements Galore. Uh, anyways, we have been invited into the UBC or the United Battling Championship, which is a hugely competitive uh, league. Uh, these teams and uh, uh, coaches are really, really good. Like, um, honestly, I think... Uh, hold on. Uh, sorry. Uh, you know, actually, it can wait. It can wait. Oh, well, who cares? All right, so that can wait. I'll, I'll check my Skype later. Uh, see, where was I? All right. These guys are really good. I don't. I don't really know if we can uh, do so well in this league as we have in our past two. Um, in fact, the one of the ones that is in this league was the winner of the Orange League, 
who, um, yeah, he won the entire thing. Uh, so that's really scary. And Ryan is also in the Orange League. Uh, not, Ryan is also in the UBC, and he was the one that created the Orange League. And then J-Specs, the one that's ahead of us in the PDL, he's also part of this league. Um, so it's going to be... It's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be challenging, which is which is really good. I really enjoy a challenge. Um, anyways, the New York Metas, New York Metagross, New York Metagrosses, however you want to say it, are now in the UBC. Um, with what it was, it was the GBA drafting format, uh, snake style draft, tier one, tier two, two tier threes, tier four, a tier five. Four free agents, which, um, ooh, excuse me, my bad, but, uh, which each cost points and had to go up to no more than 400 and then a mega. So, um, I didn't get my original team. Uh, yeah, I just, I just didn't. Uh, my original team that I wanted was, why is it? Okay, don't know why I didn't come out at first. Okay, uh, my original team that I wanted was Tyranitar, Florges, Entei, Jolteon, Hitmontop, Dusclops, Mega Absol, Slowking, Salamence, Cresselia, and Weezing. It looks like a pretty solid team. Looking back on it now, I'm kind of glad I didn't get it exactly because I had two bulky Psychic types and a bulky Ghost type. So Ghost and Dark types would have just destroyed my team. And there's my Skype again. Oh my gosh, I'm just I was gonna I'm just gonna exit out of it. Okay, my bad. No more Skype interruptions. No more Skype interruptions. Uh, hopefully that wasn't important. Oh well, who cares? I'm recording, so and recording is more important. But um, yeah, some of my mods got taken. Some of them I decided to replan. Uh, anyways. For my tier 1 mon, Tyranitar did get sniped for me. I decided to go with a different mon for my first pick because I thought he would have been taken before Tyranitar. But, I mean, he, I guess technically he was, but Tyranitar was sniped. So my tier 1 mon this time is Turokian. <sighs> really, my only plan with tier 1, I wanted a fast stealth rocker. And while Tyranitar isn't super fast... He's got decent speed. He can be ran choice scarfed, um, but he's got even better offense. And that was another thing I really wanted. I really wanted a really, really hard-hitting rock type. And Pursuit on him destroys. But I ended up settling for Tarakian, which is just as good. Uh, justified, I may try to make use of that. I mean, I didn't. that didn't really go well with uh, Gallade in the Orange League. But, um, yeah, this, this guy is good. He's got a high attack, 129, one away from 130, which, in my opinion, is, like, that's when you get to amazing, is when you hit 130. Um, good speed of 108, and even decent bulk. Like, I, like some mods that are considered really bulky aren't even as bulky as Tarakian is, and he's usually ran offensively. So I can actually run Tarakian bulky. Uh, probably won't, because he has so many weaknesses. Uh, he's weak to fighting, which is his own type. He is, well, weak to quite a bit. <laughs> but, um, oh well, right? Uh, he's not there to take hits. He's there to just destroy everything, in which he may be brought to take hits if needed. Uh, don't expect it, though. So, my tier 2, I actually did get to uh, go over Florges. Florges ended up staying on my team. Uh, which was good. Florges, I really just wanted a good bulky fairy type, and you don't get much bulkier than Florges, at least on the specially defensive side. Physically defensive could be better, but I can make it a defensive wall, max health, max defense, and it can still take some special hits as well. Uh, I needed a good cleric. There's Florges. Uh, it's even uh, kind of strong with the 112 special attack. So I'm really happy about that I got Florges. Um, so for my two tier t two t blah, blah, two tier three mons, try saying that five times fast. I couldn't even say it one time. Um, my first one, 
I got. I got to keep Entei. He was my first pick because I expected him to be taken because he is such a steal being a tier 3 mons. Uh, in my opinion, the most used uh, fire type in the draft format. Um, he's got... He has uh, Flare Blitz. He has Eruption. Uh, he's just really strong. 115 attack, 100 speed. Uh, and he's even got a de decent special attack of 90. He's semi-bulky. Uh, so he could probably take some good hits as well. But, uh... Um, hold on. Let me... Let me check something. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn uh, Skype off on my phone. So, uh... It didn't really matter that I took it off of my uh, laptop. But it was just everyone else putting out their draft videos. Uh, draft analysis videos. So let's go ahead and finish mine so that I can join the crowd. Um... So let's see, where was I? Oh, that's right, Entei. He's 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 super good, and um, just look at that. He's got that little gray black thing. That's awesome. Uh, anyways, that's not the reason why I drafted him, but that's just a good thing about him. So a lot of people were going for their uh, Volt Turn Core when they start when Raiko was chosen. I knew someone was going to go for Jolteon if they if Raiko was sniped from them. So I had to get Jolteon. Um, who in my opinion is the best Volt Switcher in the game. He's got a super high special attack and he's even faster than Raikou and his special attack is actually the same as Raikou. So, um, the only thing that makes Raikou better is that Raikou is more bulky and has a uh, more developed move pool. That's it, but uh, Jolteon's not here to be bulky, and he's not here for a good move pool. He's here to uh, for a super strong Volt Switch, which he does better than Raikou. So, um, <laughs> Tier 4, I decided on not choosing Hitmontop. Hitmontop was not tonight for me. Uh, after I decided to go with Tarakian instead of Tyranitar, I realized I don't want two fighting types. Because uh, psychic types could just destroy me. I know, uh, if you remember from my Orange League, psychic caps were a huge, huge uh, threat because uh, the guy that drafted my team drafted so many poison types. And uh, psychic types just destroyed me. So, uh, do not want a second uh, psychic type weakness. Um, so instead of, of hitting on top, I decided to get my spinner later on. And I decided to grab... Hello, Momoa as my tier 5 instead. Um, 165 health. Nuff said. That's it. And, of course, there's the most amazingness of Regenerator. Uh, with, with decent 80 uh, defense, a lackluster special defense of 45, eh, I'm not going to ever bring it specially defensive. I mean, I might if I absolutely need to. But... This thing can still take so many hits. I remember uh, in Black 2 and White 2, uh, when going through my original uh, playthrough, no EV training or anything, no EV training, no IV training, nothing. When going through the PWT, there was this one trainer that had an Aloe Momola, and I just, I don't know why I couldn't beat her. I, I could beat everyone else, no problem. But I couldn't beat her. I don't, I don't know why. It, so Aloe Momola is a big threat. Hopefully I can use it as well as she can. Um... So now we're on to my tier 5. Uh, as you saw, it was Dust Collapse. And in the PDL, he was sniped for me. And in the UBC, I got him. I got him. Dust Collapse is, not Duke Collapse, Dust Collapse is on our team, which is great because I like kind of got this feeling that Dust Collapse would be getting chosen soon. So I'm like, you know, I may want to grab Dust Collapse. And then uh, the guy that went first... His exact words were, well, since the better one was taken, I will settle for Dusknor. Which means he was probably going to choose Dusclops. So it was a great, great time to choose Dusclops. I'm so happy I got him. Uh, he's a little weak to knock off, but that doesn't really matter. Look at his stats. He could he could stand on his own as a fully evolved Pokemon. Uh, and Eviolite just makes him so much better. Oh my god. He is bulk, bulk, bulk bulk his hp could be better but that doesn't really matter um he can just take hits on both sides he's just awesome 
Uh, of course, he has lackluster offense, but I could kind maybe bring him offensively because he has a 70 attack, which isn't too bad, but I'm never going to do that because let's face it, Dusclops is the best if you like loot user. So uh, Dowblade can just go home, so can Chansey. Dusclops can take hits better than they can. <laughs> um, so on to my Mega. I looked through my team and tried to decide uh, what I really wanted. I really wanted a good steal for a Mega. Um, so I looked through the lower tiers first. Um, originally, I was thinking about Mega Pidgeot, maybe Mega Beedrill, because they're super strong. But uh, I ended up choosing a different Tier 2 Mega so that I could get the uh, total points I wanted for my free agents. And um, I ended up choosing Mega Absol. Magic Bounce is so amazing. This way, I don't really have to bring a whole bunch of spinners. I'm, gra I'm drafting one anyways, just in case. But uh, this just, it gives me really, really good uh, hazard control. And he also has Justified, so I guess I could try that. And look at that attack, 150. 115 special attack. So if I decide my opponent is super bulky on... uh physical defense but not so much on special defense i can go with the special attacking mega absol not really seeing too much but i can still do it and he also has a wide move pull he's just an amazing pokemon i really really enjoy absol and uh pursuit destroys like i said that's the main reason why i wanted titar but i have mega absol and his pursuit uh, it does more yes way more so, my first free agent, you guys really shouldn't be too surprised about this. Um, I was really debating between Metagross and Salamence. Do I want my team mascot, or do I want the Pokemon that destroys everything in its way? Um, I ended up choosing Salamence. Uh, yeah, Metagross is super awesome, but... Uh, yeah, as you know... When I went over my original team, I decided Salamence was more useful. Uh, he's got Intimidate, he has Moxie, and his stats are better. Um, not as bulky as Metagross, but, he's, but he can be ran defensively. Not the best idea, but it could happen. Um, he also has a pretty decent move pool. Uh, and of course, who suspects special Salamence? That's really what... Uh, that's something that's gotten Salamence so high up is that uh, my first match that I really used them well in, I ran Hydro Pump and my opponent didn't expect it. Salamence is just awesome that way, I guess. <laughs> uh, so for my second free pick, unfortunately, Slow King was taken. Yeah, sad, huh? Um, so I needed a different regenerator. Yeah, at this time I didn't, I didn't have Alamomola. I still had uh, um, Hitmontop in my plan because I hadn't decided on Trakian. So I decided as a regenerator core, I can go ahead and run Tengro. Look at his bulk. Just look at it. 100, 125. Lackluster special defense, but uh, he can still have an assault vest. Which is great. An Assault Vest, Giga Drain. Yeah. Enough said. Uh, he can still get his health back. You don't really need Synthesis. Sorry if you hear that. That's my grandpa just being my grandpa, I guess. <laughs> um, just, Tank Growth is really, really good. Um, I would have rather had Slow King, but Tank Growth is a good second choice. Um, for my third free pick... This was kind of hard. It was, it, it really was, to be honest. Uh, losing Cresselia. I looked at my team and saw that my team's got enough bulk. I need some offense. Uh, so I decided, hey, what about Azelf? Azelf gets sniped from me. So I looked through all the psychic types. I really want a strong psychic type. I'm like, no, this one's got to be taken. This one's taken. This one's taken. This one's taken. And I looked at one of them like, how, how are you not taken? Because, I mean, I think this is over halfway through the draft. 
Jirachi fell to me over halfway through the draft. Yeah. And he can also be ran defensively. So, really, he's this is just great. However, halfway through the draft, I also decided maybe I do want Metagross. Once I decided on Jirachi, Metagross was no. Nope. Metagross is my favorite Pokemon, but Jirachi, much like Salamence, has better stats than Metagross. Um, and with no me- Mega Metagross, because Mega Metagross was banned. Otherwise, I would have gone for Mega Metagross over Mega Absol. But, oh well. And then for my last mom, as I said, I saved my spinner for later on. My spinner, I really, I knew no one was going to pick it because almost no one likes this Pokemon. Me, honestly, I don't get why it gets all the hate it gets. Because it's actually pretty useful. Um, Its offenses aren't the best, but it has really solid defenses. Um, It can set up Stealth Rock. It's a great spinner. It's got a really good typing also. Like Not the best. Uh... Like, it has two types that are super defensive, but when you put them together, you're not the... Yeah, they don't really complement each other too well. But it's... But in my opinion, it's still a, still a decent typing. I, I enjoy it. Um, and that mon is Claydol. RG, how could you draft a, a weak mon like Claydol? Hey, sh- shut up. Claydol is, gr- Claydol is amazing. I love Claydol. Look at this. Its defenses are both above 100. Yeah, not not as great as Dusclops, but it's not crippled by that 40 health. It's got 60. And it's not super, super weak to knock off. It can run leftovers, which, yeah, knock off may do, which knock, will make knock off do more damage, but it won't lose its Eviolite like Dusclops. Like, when you knock off Dusclops, it's nowhere near as useful. Claydol. You can knock him off and, well... Oh, well, he doesn't have leftovers. He doesn't have his assault vest. Who cares? He can still do so much. He's also got a pretty wide move pool, also being a psychic type, which a lot of times have a good move pool, and a ground type, which a lot of times they have a good move pool. This thing is just a huge package. If not for its uh, lackluster um, offenses, and it's... It would make a great gyro baller if it was a slower mon. But it's still a great mon. I really, really like Claydol. And I'm gl- I'm really glad no one picked him because if someone wanted to pick Claydol, I remember thinking to myself when looking at how many people still had to do their uh, tier 5, I'm like, oh my gosh. Claydol is my electric immunity. He is my spinner. He is my rocker. If someone chooses Claydol, I'm, 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 I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. Just I'm out. Uh, no, I probably wouldn't have quit, but it would have really, really, really hurt. Um, I probably wouldn't have ended, up have ended up having to choose Sand Slash, which is just gross. Plus, my team also has a pretty big ground weakness, but Levitate. So yeah, Claydol just, he does wonders for my team. Uh, I, I'm probably going to get a lot of a lot of hate for drafting Claydol. Uh, like I said, not a whole bunch of people like Claydol. But... I do. So, and it's my team. Who cares? Uh, anyways, you guys stay awesome. I know I will. And I will see you next time.